let's just draw this out first i'm going to try and import some similar chairs right now that way we don't lose the flow of modeling once we get in there dining chair okay let's just use this one as well now i do want to use a fabric from enscape however let me go on the enscape material library let's go to fabrics and i think last time i used this fabric 08 and it worked very good i'm going to use the same one once again i'll select these and i'll just base it on the chair now also these i will need to add different wood to these ones but let's just rotate it first now we're going to use the arc tool so we're going to draw an arc right here i'm going to go in the warehouse we can search up pendant lighting now it's going to be quite hard to find something similar to that maybe something like this can work as well honestly i do like these ones and uh the painting the painting i think we can find it in the asset library if i just go to accessories and type in painting there's one which is very close to that one which is exactly this and we can just make this larger after we just find all of these i think we're going to go ahead and set up the composition first off we'll need to have it with an aspect ratio of something like this and let's just turn off the field of view um, let's just also split the screens in half that way we can kind of see more clearly what's going on throughout the whole process and then let's go over here at the enscape material library let's go to wood or maybe i can just use the same flooring that i downloaded earlier that I have here in desktop, so wood floor, okay, and then I will just apply it on the floor. And download this stucco material and just apply it on our walls here, so over here as well, over here as well, on this side as well, and I do want to change the color to something uh, more white and not so gray. Anyway, now I'm going to go once again at the wood material, and I will try and find these beams, which we will apply onto Kind of the legs of the table time to see the power of how much difference good lighting can make so and now let's just try and turn on its intensity but the thing is uh these currents are blocking quite a bit of it and now we're going to edit currents so let me choose this go to enscape material editor take this off completely and let's just use the cutout that we usually use and then let's go and edit it with something like 0.1 by 0.1 and now we can go ahead and do self illuminated and we also need to scroll downwards and this will kind of be how i see is well enough in order to create current material maybe these need to be a little bit bigger maybe let's try 0.2 by 0.2 i think this is just a little bit bigger better uh, now let's go on to the visual settings and from what i can see here we will have to turn off auto exporter just for a bit so we can have one from that side and then we can also have one which comes from over here to have it more balanced so something like this can definitely work and now let's go ahead and try to import an hri i'm going to go over here in skybox load skybox from file and then let's go to Landscape resources, Azure Eye. So this is burnt lighting. I think someone else referenced it earlier. These chairs, I do not like them at all, the ones I have here. So I'm gonna go ahead in the 3D warehouse and once again type in dining chairs. So let me just select these and see how they would look. I do feel like we have a bit of an issue with lighting here. However, I'm gonna go ahead and use some sphere lights or underneath these ones. And I want to make these a bit warmer. So I'm gonna go to colors and I'm going to scroll down and apply this but I think that the curtain I'm not sure why the fabric on these is not looking the best let me go ahead and try to modify it maybe I'll turn on the normal map so let's go to the Enscape material library let's go to fabrics once again now uh, let's go over here at the image settings auto contrast works fine maybe I turn up the shadows a little bit more and then the saturation the saturation is okay at 105 call it temperature i wouldn't touch it that much maybe just a tiny bit other than that not much else that i would do here honestly mm -hmm. 